I want to talk about people's reactions when we start to unmask or disclose our autism. The one of the most common things that I see on Twitter, at least around the actually autistic community, there is the complaint that someone did the but you don't look autistic reaction like oh i got that yeah um or you're not like my autistic kid nephew person i know um yeah so what's going on with that sometimes there's genuine intended meanness there but most of the time i don't think it's intended meanness most of the time i think that people are ignorant. They've been conditioned to believe a lot of lies. Um, yes, also you're making it up. That's another common reaction. Uh, thank you. So they, they've been conditioned to believe that autism is these particular stereotypes. And they have one or maybe two stories about what autism looks like. And they don't know any different. But here's the thing, when you first started figuring out or questioning that you might be autistic, you probably spent a lot of time reading and comparing your experiences with others and searching for answers, finding new questions, searching those down. Like it took a while, anywhere from days to weeks, months, sometimes years. But when you start like that's all going on in your head. Like, unless you're sharing that with the people as you're going through it, as you're starting to question, they don't know that that's going on necessarily. They're not processing the same things that you're processing. They're not reflecting on your life in the way that you're reflecting. They're not slowly and gradually being able to come to terms with this new identity and reframe their assumptions about autism, what they're getting is often just something that to them looks out of the blue. It's like all of a sudden this person that they know and they think they know reasonably well, they know what to expect from you, says, oh, I'm someone else and I have this identity and they don't have that processing time to themselves quietly in their own head to come to terms with that. And so the first thing out of their mouth is often an unintentionally insulting rough draft, if you will, of the process that they may be willing to go through, but they, they haven't gone through it yet. You've gone through it. You've gone through a lot of processing. You've had time to figure this out, to come to terms with it. They're not getting that. So they need that same time that you got. They need time to consider what that means, to reevaluate their ideas of what autism is and of who you are and if you've been masking extensively throughout your entire the time that you've that they've known you they might not see what you see because you're seeing what's going on inside you and they see that and they only see the outside version they see the masked version they see the one that is hidden um so you don't look autistic or you don't seem autistic or any of those kinds of things don't it what you've been showing them doesn't look like what they associate with autism probably because you've been hiding it pretty well or at least to some extent so giving them time to process is really really helpful for a relationship if that's a relationship that you want to maintain <laughs> 